thank you for coming, and thank you, Guru and Yorelik, for having me here. I would like to take this opportunity and again talk about how to manage production system and get some sleep. Curious anecdote, we just had an incident now in our production system, which I had the privilege to be notified on post-fact. The developer got the alert, managed it, and just told me he's sorry he caused an incident and that everything is okay. How did we get there? We're going to talk about it now. So I will be giving a brief history of uh, who am I, the get story, the tech stack that we use, what are the challenges we face as a 24-7 production supporting company. Day in the life of an incident and an incident manager, the tools of the trade, our vision of where we are now and where we're going, and if time allows, some Q&A. So, who am I? Unix fan, by the who am I? 44 years of age, uh, dealing with uh, customer escalations for the better part of 20 years. Very happy family guy. You see my clan here. Love to cook, love music, and really love sci-fi. The answer. So, what is GET? Who is GET? Who we are? GET was founded uh, by Dave Weiser and Roy Moore for the purpose of uh, effectively transporting people from point A to point B very fast, a ride-hailing company. Our first B2B customer, Google Israel, signed up 2011. By 2012, we have branched out to Moscow. And UK, we have rebranded ourselves as Get at 2015, the concept behind it being Get You Everything You Need, from taxi to flowers to chocolates to everything. 2016 marks our UK expansion, where we are now managing over 50% of the black cabs in London and UK. 2017, our startup within Get, Get Delivery, was launched completing the brand of GET and really getting you whatever you need when you need it. 2018 was a very big year for us where we became margin positive on all of our markets and drove the 1 billion kilometer on our platform, which brings us to today. Before we dive into the process a little bit to show you what is the tech stack that we deal with daily, and yes, it's a lot of technology, a lot of knowledge that needs to be handled, but not only by our R&D, also our production technologies are numerous. And as production supporting team, we need to be able to manage everything. What are the challenges that we face? Well, the system is huge, and I do mean huge. We have a monolith that we're still working on breaking it, Breaking the monolith, you all know the catchphrase, still an ongoing process. 180 microservices, and the list is growing. We are expanding constantly, both with customers, both in uh, regions, and both in technologies. Supporting B2C and B2B 24-7, 365 days a year. Three geolocations, UK, Russia, Israel, and expanding many, and I do mean many, third-party components and providers, dozens, dozens of daily deployments. We, we put the C in CICD. It's very continuous, and daily, hourly sometimes, and we try to maintain a 99.99% .99 SLA uptime. We need to monitor all of this huge system, and for that, we need incident management. So what does a day in the life of an incident at GET looks like? Before we go to the day in the life, let's look at the production ecosystem that we have. We have a support team that combinates also DevOps and several engineers. We support R&D, the service owners, roughly 200 engineers like triple the amount of uh, customer care operators for all of our regions, 
and they, in turn, provide support for thousands and thousands of riders and drivers. So again, it's a very big system that needs to run all the time flawlessly. So to support that production ecosystem, we created the incident management process, okay? And that process is the first step of getting a good night's sleep in a production system. That's the laser, yeah. We start with a notification. Now, notification is not just, we have a fire, who can take it? It's a very service-oriented notification, which New Relic plays a big part in identifying that first uh, patient zero that we have. Going on to an initial investigation by the incident management team, alerting all of the, those who need to know, be it upper management for global issues, be it uh, regional, be it customer care, everyone who needs to know about this incident will know. We operate the incident. We basically want to solve it as fast as possible. Oh, sorry. We resolve the incident, put out the fire, but this in no means say that the incident is over, okay? This was the first cultural shift that we did in our uh, process. The incident is not open and it's then closed. Every incident gets an action item. Every action item needs to be resolved before the incident can be fully closed. Every action item is on that specific developer's Kanban board in JIRA. So he knows that he has an open incident and it's in his weekly uh, team reports, team reviews. Only after root cause analysis is done for each and every incident, and I do mean each and every incident, and the IRs are completed, can the incident be deemed as closed. This is a slight teaser for the root cause analysis uh, report that we provide for each incident. Now, granted, a CPU failing in one of uh, the pods in AWS does not an incident make, but we do log it, we do catalog it, the root cause analysis can be short, can be long, but it will be there and it will be shared with every engineer in our company along sometimes with our regional operators who are our first customers. You can see what we try and detail here. So again, diving into the cultural shift, we took it from f extinguishing fires and not learning anything, but to creating an incident management process that combines tech support with tier one and two. Orchestrating the regional customer cares, orchestrating the DBAs, the R&D, the DevOps, all of them working together along with QA sometimes and with the secret sauce, which is the heart of this process. Trust, collaboration, and transparency, okay? We created a working process where you don't need to be up all night because the alert is focused, the purpose is clear, everyone cares about production, okay? Now, I'm applying here to the parents or uncles or aunts here. The process is a lot like super wings, okay? Why? And this is for my son who loves jet. I don't know if you've seen the show, but every Super Wing chapter is roughly the same. They have an incident, okay? A package was delivered or not delivered, and one of the Super Wings try to solve it. They fail, and then Jimbo and Sky in the tower <coughs> call Jet and call another one to assist. How does it resemble the real world? Jet is our incident manager. Each one of these is the engineers. <coughs> Without orchestration, without the trust that you can do it together, and without the guidance of the tower from above, meaning R&D, VP R&D, top management, making sure you understand that production is above everything. Features are cool, delivery is nice, we want to deliver. If production is down, none of it matters, okay? And this is the main point in the cultural shift that you have to initiate in your company to be uh, fully supporting. Uh, yeah. So there are three, three perspectives for incident management. The day to day, during an incident, and post. Let's review a little bit on all of our uh, parties in Get. Now, Dev, R&D, in, in their day to day, create monitors, 
refine alerts, do plug potential leaks, and deploy with care, okay? And I do mean care. <coughs> During an incident, they are tasked with finding the root cause, eliminating the root cause, and deploying the fix when needed, or restarting a database, or, well, usually deploying a fix. And post-incident, what is the root cause analysis? What happened here? What went wrong? Find out. It is not to blame, it is to learn. That is also one of the cultural shifts that we did at Get. The incident report that we provide does not say who caused it, it says who solved it, okay? We are positive. That is the only way you can inflict change, not by blaming, but by empowering. And they learn, everyone learns. <laughs> incident management and support. What do we do in our day-to-day? -day? We watch the system closely. We have like a semi-knock in our room with New Relic and Grafana and all the monitors that we have. We customize the system and we stop hazardous deployments. Uh, the team that I'm fortunate to be part of is in a unique position to know everything on our company. So we are approached when a hazardous deployment is considered and we can give the fine tunes. Have you tested this? Have you considered that? Everything. During an incident, we are first responders, okay, the incident management team. We get the ball rolling and we manage. We operate the incident, making sure that the MTTR resolution is as short as possible. Post-incident, we produce a high-level root cause analysis, okay? Up to 24 hours from incident, we send a report to all. We set the action item and we orchestrate their implementation. And last, and I think this is also one of the most important cultural shift we did in our process, management plays a crucial part in this shift. Because as I said, processes are good, goodwill is amazing and very important to find. Without the commitment of your VP R&D or your general manager or whoever is in charge and gives instructions, without making sure that we all know that production is above all. Again, production is above all. No process will work, okay? Commitment is everything, <coughs> collaboration. A little bit about the tools of our trade. We use a lot of technologies, AWS, Airbrake, Datadog, Kibana, Jira, PagerDuty, Grafana, and of course, New Relic. I want to go a little bit about how New Relic assists us in this cultural shift and the incident management process. They provide us, New Relic provides us with an immediate insight, and I do mean insight, on what is going on with our system, enabling a wide range of communication channels, pager duty, email, Slack, everything, the app, the app is amazing, okay, I'm using it all the time, making it very easy to find patient zero, New Relic one, really, you blew my mind with that service map and the dependencies, and taking the KISS methodologies, I think you all know what that means, to a whole new level when it comes to user experience, really, it's a, it's a whole new game. What is our vision? Efficiency. We've already decreased our incident MTTR we maintain a 99.99 .99 uptime SLA. We've automated the incident response process and the reports. We want to automate everything, okay? Alerts creation, they use anomaly detection. We want to introduce machine learning and AI into our incident process, which we will be talking about soon, and decrease the time for detection and understanding. In proactivity, we already proactively inform our users more than 90% of all of our incident. We want to get to 100, or at least as close as we can, because no one's perfect. And methodology, we document everything, we postmortem everything, and we do try to learn and publish everything. And as for the future, we want to extend the adoption of SRE methodologies in our organization.